I keep bees around Bellingham and Bo. Um, and I guess I'm kind of like a sideline or boutique honey business. Um, I do a little bit of pollination and some apples and raspberries. Uh, but mostly my business is about making quality boutique honey and single source honeys. Uh, right now I'm standing at my um, apiary that's north of Bellingham and they're bringing in maple honey and uh, I've got in my hand here a couple of uh, well, a whole box full of queens and just made a whole bunch of splits so from my hives that overwintered okay and have a lot of bees I basically break the hives in two and the half that doesn't have the queen in it I introduce a new queen and thereby make up for my winter losses uh, which are just kind of an inev inevitable part of keeping bees. Um, and uh, that's, that's kind of the nuts and bolts of it. What's, uh, it's, keeping bees is really interesting to me because there's, there's multiple facets of it. You never do any single task or job for too long. And it's kind of intricate and problem solving all the time. Everything from what's wrong with this beehive to where do I need to get the bees to next or in what order am I going to, you know, do any number of, of processes. Um, there's a bit about it that I don't love. I don't love broken equipment and fixing things. And I, I don't love moving bees at night. But um, the actual beekeeping and being out on a nice day in, a, in an apiary like this,